Hey, it's Albert with Backup Electric. I want to show you quickly how my hybrid solar setup works. These are my batteries, over 5,000 watts each. It is so easy to add more if you need more. Right now it's 11 a.m. They are both charging. They're at over 50% working on getting to 75% state of charge. This is my inverter. It gives you all kinds of information. Right now we're gonna see how much solar we're creating. So right now, we are making 1100 watts of power off of solar, okay? The washer is running right now. So we're using 364 watts here, 31 watts on this leg. So right under 400 watts we're using, but we're creating 1100 watts of power. So that leaves an additional 700 watts that is being used to charge these batteries that way at night the batteries take over they provide electricity to my house and to my garage over here you hear the washers on i have my whole garage except for the electric dryer on my solar my inverter cannot handle the dryer but i do have the electric water heater on solar i did put in a timer that way it only turns on twice a day and i also changed the elements it was very simple to do they're only about 30 dollars each and that brought my power down from 4500 watts to 30 to 3500 watts which made it to where my inverter could handle it okay let's go over here to the main panel which feeds the house and the garage. I'll show you here. My lights are on inside. You already saw the garage power is on. I have a 10 circuit transfer switch here, which feeds 10 circuits in the home and some in the garage. So what's the biggest difference between a hybrid setup and those $50,000 packages that they sell you those solar salesmen door to door those fifty thousand dollar packages when you lose power from center point you will not have power in your home even though you have fifty thousand dollars worth of equipment on your roof and on your home this is what happens with the hybrid i'm going to cut the main breaker to the off position it is off i'm going to come over here I still have power. Ceiling fans are on in the home. Now, we're gonna walk over here. Here are some of the solar panels I have. I have 10 total, five facing east, five facing west. My inverter's still on. Batteries are still charging. The washer is on. See the lights are on. Let's see over here. Mini fridge is on in the garage. We're still creating energy. Never lost power. We're still, you know, a thousand ninety watts of power that we're creating right now. Walk over here inside the home. Lights are on in the kitchen. Okay. We're gonna come back over here to the panel. Main breaker is still off. Transfer switches are turned to generator as I keep them 24 seven. Lights are on ceiling fan are on so when you lose power from center point or your utility company you don't have to flip anything it does it automatically okay that's another great thing even better these systems do not cost fifty thousand dollars a system like what i have 10 panels solar inverter two batteries uh, with install you're going to be looking at about twelve to fourteen thousand dollars installed including parts 
Uh, it is very easy to add solar panels. It is very easy to add more battery capacity. And also, you can add another inverter, put it in uh, to work with the one you have already, and you'll have even more output. My home is all electric, so the only things that are not on solar are my AC, my dryer, because it's electric, 240 volt, and my stove, my cooktop and oven. Everything else is on solar just with this one inverter, two batteries, and my solar panels on the roof. So if you're interested in getting something like this going, <clears throat> I believe this is a much better investment than a Generac, which you'll only use when power goes out. Um, this you use every single day and every single night. It charges and it feeds the home. We leave our ceiling fans on all night. Uh, the refrigerator, everything stays on as it would be. But my kids keep the, the ceiling fan on. We keep our ceiling fan on all night. And the power, you know, in the morning, I come out. Usually these things still have charge in them. The sun comes out and then it just continues to charge like it normally would. So it's basically, if you have enough battery capacity, you'll never be without solar. Right now, you can see the sun came out, so we should be making a little bit more power. See, it went up to four, 1400 watts. The sun came out slightly. It is cloudy still, but you can see it here. There it's going up, 1640 watts that it's creating right now. Hey, there you see it just goes up and down anything extra goes to charge the batteries so we're we're charging they're going to be fully charged by the end of uh, the day when the sun goes down and you could see we're only using 370 watts on one leg 23 watts on the other leg so we're using less than 400 watts of power but we're creating 1400 watts of power so the extra thousand watts goes to charge my batteries it is only 11 in the morning it is only 11 in the morning and i'm already at 50 percent well that one just went to sit well never mind it started blinking again it's really close it's about to be 75 percent this one is working its way there too i am very happy with the system and i can't wait to show the results when i have the my electric bill in hand look it's just going up 1880 watts of power and it goes down as the cloud passes over the sun or whatever but it's creating power everything is working the washer it's working everything it's amazing i'm very happy i couldn't be happier if you're interested in a setup like this Call us, Backup Electric. We'd be happy to help.